brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Green Bay Packers. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second and seven. Rodgers dancing to his left. He has it complete to Christian Watson. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he's flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Rodgers now on first down. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Four yards, the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. pick up about four it's second down some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day the run got four now they deal with a second and six play action now it's Rodgers and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion. And they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Rodgers now to throw. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 28. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He'll go right back to Tunyon. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Rodgers. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. 
It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Here's Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. The kick by Crosby is good, and the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Fielded right around the eight. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. to Mixon on second down. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. Again, it's Mixon. Shifts by at the 15. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. I would say that's what you call a whole lot for a little, huh? When you bust that move out of the bag, you hope for more than four yards, but hey, four is what he got. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Burrow. To the right side and complete to Hurst. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. A bullet throw, but incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. McPherson's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on me. I know huh? you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. 
Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. From midfield, here's Rodgers. That's Tunyon bringing in the quick throw. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his pit catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. And meanwhile, Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the 22, Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll be stopped short of the first down right around the 18-yard line. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Able to find Lazard. Touchdown! Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Packers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. No, oh, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a letdown there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. Well, Charlie's here so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Bengals with work to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now, they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. This is caught. It's Boyd. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They'll give it to Mixon. 
And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try to chip someone at the second level. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Mixon. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Here we go. Here we go. Eleven They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Hayden Hurst from six yards away. And the Bengals' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And that one puts them on top here in the third. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Steps away to his left. That one caught downfield by Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. Escaping. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They're able to convert with a gain of four. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five. So second and five coming up. On second down, it's Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He's the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On play action, it's Rodgers. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals will take over here just shy of the 30. So that a definite deflator there on the interception. Yeah, you work your way down the field, thinking you're in position for a go-ahead score. But all it takes is one errant throw, and this one winds up a turnover. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. 
To throw once more on second and 10. Burrow forced out to his left. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. They try to eat some clock with Mixon. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. From midfield now, Burrow. The pass to Boyd, and he brings it in on the crossing route. A big play there for Cincinnati. 44 yards. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, and these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Burrow looking to pass. Touchdown, Bengals! Joe Burrow with a touchdown connection to Tyler Boyd. And the Bengals get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So an important drive for them there. They're not home, but momentum, Charles, definitely in their favor now. And I like the point you just made. They're not home yet, but a one-point game, and if you kick the extra point, make it an eight-point game. Only one score, but you're right. Momentum definitely in their favor right now. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. From the 27, Rodgers. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Rodgers to throw. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Back to throw, Rodgers. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Hooked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals.